The answer is so much more than smooth colors and halation, yet for some reason that's all people talk about. To whoever may need this nugget of encouragement, things will be alright, so quit your worry, I get it. It's been strange to me throughout this process to see everyone absolutely obsess over the so-called film look. Minor adjustments across the board resulting in shy grades undetectable by the regular viewer. We all live in echo chambers and mine, probably like yours, has a fetish for the perfect imperfect Hollywood look. The answer was made to create imperfections to an image and as they have evolved given us a range of tools. I think it's time we started to use them. I have shot on Super 8, I've worked years in a photo lab, shot rolls or rolls of film, yet I can't tell you the difference between a Kodak Portra or a Fujistock, which is why I never fully understood the obsession with the nuance in color. Filmstock has a million variables, from camera to light to processing to digital and to print. In all of these steps, colors will change dramatically, so different people will get different results. The same is the case with the Hanser. The LUTs will look different when applied on a spectrum of footage. Now with the work the Hanser has put in, it's a great starting point and makes your road to authenticity a lot easier to walk if you choose to learn this program properly. It's just, I think it's very, very important that we as creatives understand our viewers' lack of interest in technicalities. Right characters and love of hard work, which has done much to ensure fruitful harvests throughout the years. We've all seen footage from the first flights to the latest wars and it all seems so distant. It's like a door to a world we don't fully understand. The black and white, the lack of detail and low frame rate combined immediately sets us back a century before we even know what's in frame. Imagine if we could recreate that. a Dehancer tutorial used to make high quality image look worse, which is baffling to me as half of their tools are dedicated to exactly that. Considering this was my third week in DaVinci Resolve, I can't be anything else but impressed. This plugin is sick and this sponsorship came at an incredible inconvenient time. However, here I am living proof of how simple yet effective this plugin is. The answer works with all the major softwares within photo and video production. And if it's not clear by now, it's a plugin that will help you transform digital media to believable old formats of video. From Super 8 to 65mm. Now to compress all its functions, here is a brief explanation. You have very powerful color grading tools, great control over contrast and highlights, and a bunch of effects to further dehance the image. And these effects are what everyone forgets and I believe are the most fun. I believe again this plugin, while good for professional colorists, will do wonders for someone that does YouTube, digital storytelling, after movies, music videos or short films. The ease of use combined with quality makes this a necessary tool for any semi-professional. With all that said, this is a very expensive plugin. Absolutely worth it if you are on Adobe or Final Cut, but if you are on DaVinci there are some new features being released that might dampen the value of the Hanser, but that's for you to decide. Now the main complaints I've heard besides performance issue and price is mainly interface issues, which is strange as it's such a small detail to spend 5 minutes ranting on. Press Alt or Option and click a drop down to close all the drop downs. If you are a professional considering this, I think it's a no brainer. You can write it off on your taxes and you will have constant updates and optimized software streamlining and otherwise complicated process. So if you think in regards of hours saved and the lifetime of this software, the price suddenly fades in comparison to the value it provides. Okay, it's very obvious that this video looks a lot like an ad, but at this moment, this is actually how I feel. I'm very surprised and very happy about the tools I've been given. And I think the only thing people really has to consider is how powerful their computer is. I only have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I have to really work on my optimization with proxies and 1080p timelines. So at this moment, it's not ideal for me, but the answer as a plugin is great. If you want to see how I color graded those old videos and how I made it look like it was actually from back in the days, you can watch the video in the link in the description if it's out uh, and uh, subscribe because I've given you a, a lot of yes. I made you spend a lot of money and use my code Hans for 10% off and I get a lot of cash as well. I get super rich.